morning. We're back. Uh, heading back out. It's the bottom of the ninth. Or it's fourth and ten. I don't know. What do you guys prefer? You uh, Baseball analogy, football analogy. Feeling pretty optimistic. Uh, expectations, I would say, have dropped slightly. New variables. It rained last night. Weather update. It is still windy. It's our last morning, so let's go have some fun. are going to make a play on some antelope that we spotted this morning. Not exactly sure where they are at the moment. We have a pretty good idea. Uh, one of the bucks is bedded. There's a couple in there that I would punch my tag on for this last morning. So, wish us luck. Puffy weather. It's got the puffy gloves on. Puffy jacket. The beanie. Because it's cold this morning. I just didn't feel comfortable pulling the trigger because there are always any of the bucks I was looking at shooting, there's always something behind it.
Dude, these giant groups of pronghorn are ridiculous. We just put on like two great stocks. The first round, they were at like 180, 60, 200 yards. But there wasn't a time when one of the bucks wasn't covered up by either another buck or another doe. This time, they were at 280 yards. Same situation. This morning, they weren't, they were in like these subgroups and they all converged into this big group presenting some challenges, which we kind of expected based on what we saw yesterday. They just move around, they look like an amoeba. <laughs> it's crazy. These things in these giant groups are a real pain in the butt. <laughs> Found another really good group. They were a couple micro groups and then they saw the truck and they like whoosh, all come together. We're gonna try to drive around and see if we can turn them up. We just need a little bit more topography to work with with these guys. Mark counted over 42 and they met up with some more. It kind of got spooked into that little basin over there, so we're gonna try to gain some elevation and see if we can catch them. I don't know if they'll be there, but we're gonna try. The plan was going to be perfect, but unfortunately they beat us to the spot. We were hoping they were going to hang out and just kind of feed in this little basin thing that they were in, but they actually came up on this little bench that we were walking towards, saw us, as you would imagine, and uh, kind of boogered off. But we just spotted, it looks like some stragglers, it's a group of a couple does and it looks like a few bucks. One of the bucks looks like a pretty good one, so we're going to try to do another stock and see if we have an opportunity to get this tag filled. I don't know. It's been a lot harder, obviously, in those giant groups, but I like our odds on this one because it's just a smaller little herd of antelope. It's not this ginormous group of 50 that we just kind of got busted by. So here we go. Well, I decided to finally fill this tag. You know, going into this, I like I've said in the videos before, I had really, really high expectations. My goal is to find a mature 80 inch plus antelope or a really freaky weird one. We just couldn't do it, we just couldn't find one. And it wasn't without effort. Like I've said, I don't think I've ever worked harder on an antelope hunt in my life. We put in four full days of hunting 
countless, countless miles on the truck down dirt roads, gravel roads, searching two tracks, you name it. And we just couldn't turn one up. We ended up just taking a buck that represented this unit. And I think what's important is that you capture the essence of the hunt, the experience of the hunt. And I think Martin and I gave this thing all of our effort for four whole days from sunrise until sunset in the truck glassing. We've seen well over a thousand pronghorn, probably closer to 2000 pronghorn. He represents the unit well. He's gonna be phenomenal eating. He died a quick death. It's all I could really hope for. I'm thrilled with the outcome of this hunt. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We absolutely love pronghorn for table fair and we love to chase them. They're just so fun and different. We had some trials, some tribulations. We got to go on a few stocks this morning and it ended in a great way. Couldn't be more thrilled. So let's go take a look at him.